is helping out and having some fun at a ribbon cutting. Helping out here is probably the easiest thing Rue will do all day. Our vehicle went off ravine and I flipped out. The vehicle. Rue's owner is Jason Morgan. He shared his story as part of the grand opening for the Canine Companions for Independence campus in Irving. Rue was trained to help Morgan at a facility like this one. She knows more than 50 commands. They've just been a lifesaver. These dogs truly changed lives. Brian Boone lost his leg in Afghanistan. Well, Brindle's my service dog. I've had him for about a year. They really just become an extension of your own. Uh, bends over, you know, he picks things up so I don't have to bend over. Uh, he'll pull, push doors. With these dogs and all the commands that they have, you know, the sky's the limit. This new campus is one of only a few for canine companions in the country and now serves the entire South Central U.S. It's a partnership with Baylor Scott & White Medical Center, Irving. Today is what we've been working so hard to make happen, to have the center available to train dogs actively here in Texas and to be able to create companion teams. Three types of dogs will be trained here. Service dogs will help adults, including wounded warriors, with physical disabilities. Also, skilled companions for children who have emotional or developmental needs that need a companion dog. Facility dogs will work with professionals in schools, hospitals, and other places. All the training will happen on this nine-acre campus on Las Colinas Ridge. Take a look around. There are cabins here that the recipients of the dogs can stay in. When people come in to do their placement, when they build a graduate team, that takes two weeks because they really are looking for the chemistry that exists between the animal and the recipient. They also practice with their dogs when they're here. Of course, we have the kennels. They are state-of-the-art, designed to really protect these dogs and keep them healthy. There is an outdoor area for the dogs to let their dog out. The process of getting a dog ready starts well before they arrive here. From when the puppies are born to eight weeks, they're raised with their mom. They're whelped in California. The puppies that come, come from California, and they're typically flown in. So our proximity to the airport is great. Canine Companions wants Irving residents to help with the next step, puppy raising, which involves some basic training and socialization. And then they turn those puppies in for advanced training. Six months to nine months more, these dogs receive advanced training before they're finally paired and put on graduate teams. My hope is that people find this location and find their opportunity to give both their time and their money to support these animals and the great opportunity to give back to people who have given so much for us or are in such need of having an animal in their lives. These dogs, during the course of their life, it'll take $50,000 to get a dog ready and then ready to serve throughout its life. The recipients are qualified, they don't pay a dime. Initially, the crew here will train about 30 dogs a year. If we have phase two planned, that would get us to 60 dogs. We should actually see our first Irving trained dogs ready to be put onto graduate teams within the next half a year. So we kind of judge it as these are going to be Irving dogs that are going to be going to really worthy recipients. For those recipients, the benefits are more far-reaching than they ever imagined. Besides the physical things that they can do for you, um, just the mental aspects, you know, having a, it's like a, your best friend that never leaves you, you know, is always with me. When you get injured like myself, your whole goal is to gain your independence back. These dogs do that and also I think it just kind of brings people back into society again too. They truly change lives.